Also tonight, this video sparking concerns about excessive force. It shows a Daytona Beach police officer hitting a suspect in the head with a tennis racket. And while he's being hit, a police canine is also biting him. Fox 35's Patrick Perez is live in studio tonight. So Patrick, this video is pretty intense. It really is hard to watch. There's a lot of blood from a canine bite the suspect suffered. There's also a lot of yelling from both the suspect and the responding officers. But it's the same video that a lawyer we spoke with says may show officers were in the wrong. It's just before 2.15 a.m. on April 8th. Daytona Beach police officers, including a canine unit, are responding to Daytona Toyota for reports of a man who had broken into a car and is carrying a tennis racket. In this body camera video, you can see officers eventually find the man near the service area. Please canine, get on the ground now, you're going to get bit. Despite multiple commands to get on the ground. Get on your face now or you're getting bit. The man was still standing when an officer sends his canine after him. What happens next is what has some questioning whether the officer used excessive force. The optics of this are really bad for the department. Just a few seconds after the canine bites the man, the officer starts hitting the man on the head with the tennis racket he was carrying. Police say this was the safest choice for everyone involved. They argue the suspect was trying to choke the canine by wrapping his legs and arms around him, which could have killed the canine. The officer defends his actions in his own body camera video. He was choking a vezer, so I broke the racket over his head. But Nijim Law partner Albert Yonfa doesn't see it that way. Was he choking the dog or was he just trying to protect himself from an ongoing attack? Either way, it doesn't justify grabbing the tennis racket and beating the suspect over the head. More than four minutes later, officers are eventually able to arrest 57-year-old Richard O'Donnell. He's facing several charges, including resisting arrest with violence and intentionally causing harm to a police dog. He can't comply if, one, he's being attacked by the canine and he's being beaten over the head by a tennis racket. Uh, clearly, this was a, 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 a use of excessive force. And after reviewing the incident report, body camera video, and other documents, the department found the use of force was justified. As for O'Donnell, his court case is still open. In the studio, I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News.